out here. I don't know why we wore shorts. I don't, I don't even know what I don't even know what we're doing to be honest. I would try to like make up something cool and tell you guys more but running on fumes right now. I just hope they have some treats here. Some fresh fruit, some vegan snacks for my colleague Sir Alec Baker. <laughs> We've been here for a long time, right? I got 9-10, I'm happy. We're gonna be training tonight with a big lad, a big lad. So we got Obi here. Big dude. There's a lot of big dudes in here. Obi's the biggest dude. This is looking good in here. Good on He says I'm big, I mean, massive. All right, it's gonna be a back day. We got this big lad in the house. Obi's gonna, I'm gonna try to keep up with this guy. The reason I chose back, we're gonna do some body weight stuff, and I know he weighs more than me, so hopefully I can keep up with him. What are you weighing right now? Uh, I've weighed myself in a while, but the last time I was 109, 109 kilos. That's uh, that's like 233, four pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. 2.2 .2 kilos, I think. Yeah. It's like 200, yeah, big lad. I'm like 215 right now. I've been eating a lot over here, the, the breakfasts. Actually, you know what? I didn't eat shit today, I'm not gonna lie. All I had today was white monsters, no joke. All right, first exercise, close grip, pull up, neutral grip. Try to get, I'm not trying to cheat on this one. Gotta get at least 15 reps, maybe 20, probably 15. It right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, it was a tight squeeze back. Nando's. The, the double chicken and then with a side of spicy or creamy mash and then also uh, the salad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Just got back to my room. I was just thinking, tonight's training session was was really good. Like I, I liked it. And the, the session itself was good. I was pretty wiped out. But it was really cool talking with Obi because I think he and I have a very similar outlook on fitness. Um, he recently, for those of you guys that don't follow him, you definitely should. He recently started doing, about a year ago, working in some CrossFit stuff. And I, you know, wouldn't say I, 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 I have been doing that. I would say two years ago, um, I was doing a little bit more of that because I was feeling kind of lost in my fitness journey. I think coming into the gym, traveling the world for, you know, six, seven years, working out, bodybuilding stuff, just coming in, you know, being pressed for time, um, wanting to shoot a YouTube video, you know, for the most part, arms, chest, they're going to get the most views, legs. So you get, you condition yourself to kind of go through the motions or create content that, um, you know, people will like and, and you enjoy doing, but that you're not necessarily getting better. You're not working on mobility. You're not working on strength. You're just kind of putting out content for other people rather than working out really for you. And I was talking to him about kind of his journey and that he lost kind of his passion or, or got, you know, I, I said to him, you know, how do you stay motivated? You've got an impressive physique. How do you stay motivated if you don't have a show coming up? And it's like, hey, that's, he said, that's, that's how I got into CrossFit. And, you know, I feel like I've been at a point really the last couple months where it's so hard for me. I, I'm so con so ingrained in me to to want to be the best at something. So if I don't have something to be the best at physically, um, I feel like I'm starting to, to kind of spin my wheels. And not that CrossFit is it for me. I think, though, that it's like, okay, I need to be a champion of mobility, of functionality, meaning I need to be able to, to do things... A pistol squat. I need to be able to get down. We were talking about that. He can do like a hundred pistol squats or something like that. I need to get out and be able to do that. So I think his training has kind of inspired me to get out there and really look at my own training. Am I just going through the motions? Ask yourself, are you guys just going through the motions? What are you afraid of to try something new? Is it, are you afraid to learn something new? Or are you afraid of what your friends are going to think? What are you afraid of to try something new? Try Olympic lifting. Try, you know, working on technique. Try coming in and just working mobility, foam rolling stuff, um, trigger point therapy, getting into stretches that hurt, that you hold. You know, we, we do all that kind of stuff, and I feel like um, it's easy to just go through the motions. It is easy to go into the gym, hit your three sets of 10 to 12 on bicep curls, triceps, same old, same old, same shit for, you know, what, however long you've been doing it. If you're like me, it's been for, for, for forever. Um, and I also like having a training partner, so I want to get back to training with somebody because that's when I feel like you're able to push yourself. You're able to, uh, if you're having a bad day, your partner's there to really elevate your game. And that's working out with Obi. I was like, oh, I didn't feel like working out after shooting for 10 hours. But getting in there and working out, the energy was flowing, talking to him about you know, his training philosophy. And, and just it was so refreshing. So I hope you guys like that video and and you know again the content the back stuff you know he he does bodybuilding stuff and then he does you know metcons or he'll work on rowing and i want to be all things fitness and i've kind of wanted to be all things fitness for a while and it's kind of hard people in in specific niches do better you know like if you're you know youtube instagram you know when i was competing telling that story of competing and watching you know as i get leaner does a whole lot this this 12 week um bulking lean bulk, if you will, hasn't been as easy because at the end of it, there's no definitive goal necessarily. It's not as, you know, you don't get as many people complimenting you. You don't get as many likes on things because it's it's not that woe factor of, oh, Steve shredded. It's more like, you know, I'm doing this so I can get stronger, so I can, you know, try to end up at a place where I'm going to be better, where my lifts are getting better. I'm adding more muscle. And then I can, you know, then when I do decide to to cut down a little bit, I'm going to, you know, be more proportionate and all those other things that I'm really trying to be. So good workout tonight with OB. And um, just one of, the, one of those things that I wanted you guys to think about out there too. Um, are you doing, are we just going through the motions? Are we just doing things because it's easy? And what would it take for you to really get passionate about life, about lifting? What would it take? For you to really, you know, what would it feel like you're succeeding? What would it feel like you're really accomplishing what it is that you want to be doing? And for me, I think, you know, I was getting excited tonight talking to him about 
just kind of being an all-around, you know, being able to do it all, being able to do those things. And, and for a while, I feel like I took a lot of hate for wanting that. But ultimately, it's going to make me a better bodybuilder because it's getting me excited for the gym. The gym, the bodybuilding stuff is almost the dessert, the sprinkles on the top, if you will. If you're coming in and you're doing rows and you're doing, you know, things that snatches and, you know, overhead squats. If you're doing those things that are technical and tough, that mobility work that just sucks, you're going to be a better athlete. You're going to be a better bodybuilder. You're just going to be a better all around human being physically because of it. So I challenge you guys out there to maybe think of where your weaknesses are and let's go get after those. But anyhow, thank you for watching this video. I got one more day here and then I am off to LA for a day and then to Hawaii. So a lot of traveling coming up. We're going to take you guys with, with me. Um, and shout out to Alec for just killing these videos. So we're going to give you one of these because we're almost to Hawaii. All right, later.